Bring one home for the boys. The boys back at home. It would be nice to see, but I'm gonna actually lean in favor of uh, of uh, Arfang with you. Don't be proven wrong, though. But no matter what. Also, we gotta get I start I gotta go for Arfang because we're brothers, you know. I'm Fang. He's Arfang. Cut a cut a roof. He feels about that. I don't know. People you. have actually mistaken me for him before. I'm not. I'm not even lying. They're like, "Are you Arfang?" I'm like, "No, I'm sorry." I wish I, I, I answered the same answer every time. I was like, I wish I was. <laughs> I promise I made the tag before knowing about him. All right. Well, no less. Let's see how this pans out for both the lads as we start game one of Smashville. And fairly typical start to how this matchup would go. Wolf gets a few hits in. It's a lot of damage. Yeah. But that being said, Pichu's got a Pichu's like fighting a blender. You, you, you put your hand in the blender, it's, it's gonna hurt. You're gonna get cut up. Yep. That being said, though, that excellently placed drop through uh, ledge back air to just cover any landing options that uh, Arfang was pining to go for. The mix, though, begins. Zero, zero. Is you that see how Arfang is like hunting around for the uh, thunder kill? Jackal's getting the hell out of dodge so quickly because of it. Wow. <laughs> that. <laughs> Man had Neo levels of Matrix right there off stage, just barely avoiding Artfang's onslaught right there. You need a down smash for his efforts, but I think what you brought up in the pregame is very evident immediately in this. The fact that Jackal previously played Pichu, she knows what Pichu's looking for. Right. <laughs> Jesus Christ. But he just carved that man up like a turkey. There we go. Yo! It is the season. Interesting out of out of shield punish right there. Up smash out of shield is frame 13. So it's a very slow option, but it can punish a lot of stuff like jump or empty hops, which Arfang's been doing a lot of. Jackal been controlling the space. I'm eating my words right now on that pregame. Hey, listen. Actually, on the note of up smash out of shield, that works out really well here because Peach's fairly low to the ground, much like the starting pickup of up smash. Oh my god. Almost kill. Oh, <laughs> who goes for that? <laughs> the man himself. All right, a boot to the head. And the patience in neutral hey, right here by Jackal. Get out of here. Ichi, God of the flesh. As a, as a homer, man, Babe roofed him out of there real All right. quick. All right, I think our frame's going to have to play from his, uh, his own book for this one, look at his own plays, because uh, going for like the traditional ladders into Thunder. It ended terribly for him. Yeah. <laughs> like, Jackal just knew exactly how to get away from it all. And every time that Arfang wanted to start it back up, it was such a big punish. Yeah, no, he, he, he just also mostly staying grounded throughout the duration of that entire game. Like, Arfang was the one ending up taking the aggressive option on him most of the time. This man has been known to jump in more than Corbin Blue so far. He, he, he's... It's been, he, I love how he's been using these up tilts to also just catch the slight approaches from Jackal. It's, it's clear that Jude doesn't plan on moving too much out of his zone. So it's up to Arfang to really take him out of it. Pichu's adorable, man. Oh, oh he, he dead. yeah, you're very dead. Hate to see it. Yeah, even Arfang wasn't satisfied with that. No. See, we, we all aren't, but there's definitely players out there that are low key like. <laughs> it don't matter, though. My oh, man coming through with the revenge for that stock. All right. The use of Nair is phenomenal from our thing. It's, it's a fairly low commitment aerial. Oh, my lord. And he gets so much on every time. How do you get out of that, man? The vortex. The DI. Pichu's kind of a blank canvas when it comes to combo game. Pretty much all of her aerials are able to do something into each other. And she can rack up damage hella quickly. Great patience right there by Arfang, just waiting for, for Jackal to, to get that safe landing right there. Wow, he, he baited him into thinking that he was going to go for a cross-up back here, but he landed in front of him instead. And at a very safe range, mind you. Like, Arfang slowly changing up his game plan, and it's paying out pretty quickly for him, too. Generally speaking, Pichu, not that much damage racked up on him quick. But he's got the stock use and the stage event. Like, Arfang is making a lot of these calls where the battle's taking part. He got the downer. He went at it. I've noticed that Arfang's been going for neutral getup a lot of the time, and the Jackal's already caught it once. I'm just wondering if he's going to be able to catch it again. I think that dash attack taken, evening up the stock. For, for a matchup on paper that might be kind of 
little little difficult for uh, Wolf. Jackal's been doing a great job of just mitigating uh, Arfang's approaches and also just catching him on the back foot. Oh my god, that was so scary. Yo, yeah. I'm thinking it's using up B instead of the Wolf Flesh. It was working out really well for Jackal until he opted into the Wolf Flesh. So yeah, the Wolf Flesh doesn't snap too easily. It's okay, Pichu, you're good. Totally. Adorable. I love Pichu. I love this guy. It's so cute. I'm so glad to still see Arfang Rock in the character because, like, so there was a mass exodus of Pichu. Right? Yeah, for sure. People people saw the nerfs and they were like, this character doesn't work anymore. But it, Pichu's still really good. He's got an amazing combo game still. He's still the, the like the bona fide glass cannon of this game. And like, Arfang's been known as a combo combo cannon since Smash 4. His Mario like dispensed combos like nobody's business. He's, he's doing it up with Pichu. Yeah. He's doing it up Tiny with Mario. You know, it's a game three. Pichu's so excited to just get absolutely cut into shreds by Wolf. Oh, okay. He knows, he knows how to deal with that. Jude, Jude also not hesitating to push his advantage whatsoever. Like he, every he, his reaction time to all of Arfang's defensive options and just his his decision making when it comes to extending his combos is has been immaculate this set so far. He's also been doing a really good job with trying to occupy space. Like the way he'll put out in there, especially after like a series of empty hops, trying to just put out forward tilt just to tell Arfang just to slow down a little bit. Like it's all been working out really well for him. These have been tight games. Just waiting for the quick attack right there. Good mix up by going on stage by Arfang. I feel like if he went to ledge, it would have put him in a very hairy spot because when you're facing Wolf's ledge trapping, it's very difficult to get out of it. Accidental air dodge into him. That's going to net the stock right there for him. A few, a few flubs here and there this set, but with two characters that need a lot of actions, uh, like Pichu and Wolf, there's bound to be some screw ups. I love how he's been checking him with these nares too, just to force him in a possible no tech situation. Like, he's hunting around for his opportunity to get his kill. No jump left. But not able to check agility. Instead, going to get back hit of down smash. How's he going to get the off the ledge? Nice. Ah, eh. Wrong. What a sparky through. Should have called for a lifeline. Oh, my God. Yeah, the scoopy. My man getting Ugh. scooped up like chocolate chip cookie dough, bro. That was ridiculous. That was... I don't see I don't think he expected to get scooped up. No, I don't think he did either. Like, that thing sucked him in. Like, don't get me wrong. He, he shoot dies early. Yeah. Like, I'll give you that. But that was kind of OD. The Jackal playing with so much confidence right now at this mid-range versus Arfang. He's just been catching all of these jumps by Arfang. Although Arfang turning up the key here. Plenty of buttons being pressed. All right. You got a king. Pick your head up. Man. That's too, that's too much. This man has also just not been able to get any of the combos he's been going for, truly. Wow, that is unfortunate. That wasn't, though. Yeah, no, he's, he's fine. That man's big chilling. One more back throw at ledge 2 might be able to see it, honestly. He did. Save so just jump. Ooh, wow, that was quick. With the agility oh, of no. Usain Bolt. My lord. Ooh, try let's try let's Trump there is something I haven't seen yet. Uh, yeah, no, that is, I don't know about that one, but it would have been nice. Nonetheless, down air, call up the up the Oh, no. right back into it. Where are we going? Careful, my friend. The skull bash to, to linger on the ledge, kinda cute. He Falling got caught up, up in the sh movement. He was sh moving too hard and he got stopped. It doesn't work when you say it actually. Ooh. That was a very, I don't know what Wolf said, but it sounded hard. Kind of like most mumble rappers. <laughs> you don't know what they're saying, but if that, if that sounds hard, bro, it sounds hard. He do be going on the beat. <laughs> he, do, he do be, be spitting bars, though. Yo, <laughs> shout <laughs> All right, though, Jackal really, really showing, like, a good command of this matchup. Going into Town and City. I like this pick personally. It'll give uh, Arfang a little more space to work around with. And the fact that it'll, um, the stage transforms a bit to FD towards certain transformations, it'll leave less avenues for Jackal to be able to land effectively. 
Wolf performs fairly well on this stage as well, though. Like, he has no trouble with keeping at the ledge. He can occupy the flats as needed. And even on his own, like, when he gets the FD transition, he, he's been catching landings really well on her. It's such a gamble on whether or not you're going to catch the call out on these being empty hops or not. Both of these guys have been mixing up, just throwing in an empty hop here and there. Wow. So oh, no. I really thought he would have gotten that. That's crazy. Oh, that's the grim angle. Unlucky Rubber Ducky. And now this is looking a lot better for Arfang. Yeah, he'll still take damage to every electric move that he throws out, but if he can just keep blending Jackal and catching with these back airs, like, it's going to be... The, the constant adapt adaptation throughout the set by both of these players is really, really cool. It's, it's been something to see for sure. Like, they're, they're changing their aggression. Yeah, there's no mix from that far into the yeah. stage. Although, taking a quick beating for it. Jackal, starter, re-put himself back on for this game. Jackal's been hell accurate on the dash attacks he's been throwing out throughout the set. Just at, at ledge in the corner, catching Arfang's get up every time. Wow. That's not killing though, is it? Nah. He no way. He should have reset the combo with down so, but it's all good. Arfang's been really good with fishing around for that though, the Nair. Like, getting a trip gets him so much, especially at the later on percentages. But even not, you're still threatening space. It's still a combo piece. Wow, getting out of the vortex right there. Now it's just super duper even. Actually, that's something that you gotta commend Arfang for is that like Jackal's escaping a lot of this pressure so easily. But Arfang's having He's no not problem. blinking, bro. He's not even committing to shielding either. He's just sitting there waiting for uh, Jackal to stop doing his shenanigans. Like Arfang's just constantly throwing himself right back into it, regardless of the amount of times that Jackal's able to get a proper Ooh, call out. It's a trip. Wow. That could have led into a lot for, for Jackal. And getting caught on the DI there a little bit. I like how, how he's been opting to use more up B than side B. He knows that it, it's very, very dangerous at times. Yeah, no, every time we've seen uh, Wolf Lich come out. He got clipped every yeah. single time. Like, Arfang just blows it up as an option. And the, po the poke right there. I don't know if he dropped shield or it just ended up poking the shield. That, that move was very powerful. And now this is anyone's game. One quick combo from Arfang. Arfang can even this back up. And he's been catching Jackal's jumps. He's been calling out. He has no jump left. Luckily, getting out with that Nair. Ooh, all right. Almost saw his soul ripped out right there. Swing for the fences. We can't see Jackal getting too antsy like that. Arfang is going to be able to pick that apart. Pikachu is a great kid for being able to push out on moves like that. Tried retreating to the platform there. Arfang just with all this offensive oh. pressure, overcommitting a little bit there. That's not Back it. Air, that's not it just yet. Nah, especially with good DI. Oh, wow. Okay, that was. He knew the distance perfectly. Get out of that, too. That could have been disastrous. Oh, yeah. Every single time, bro. And the little mini pop off. Little leggy. Little leggy brings leggy. us to our first game five. Dude, of singles leg. on tonight's stream. Oh. You, can't, you can't be mad when you see that. You just can't. Maybe if you're Jackal, you can't. Yeah. But like, he's just horrible. Like objectively, man. He's just fast. Look at how happy New Jersey is, bro. They're all so concerned for their boy. They're a lot of focus. They all look like when they're being lectured by their teacher because they all just got like 30s on the latest <laughs> chem test. Why was the test average of 47? <laughs> you guys are all inept. What are you doing? Did you even attempt to study? I have open office hours. <laughs> oh my god! And it looks like Jack Really? Gonna need to Robbery has them. been occurred. Call the police. Alright. In case y'all forgot who Arfang was. He gave me the game five reminder. I don't think Jude was awake yet. The game just started. Dear lord. That being said though, this with a with a good call out by Jackal, this can be evened up within a matter of seconds. You know, you almost had it. I almost had it. Oh, he did. Yeah. A runaway game for our fang so far. We even got the two tall. Is this out. a Twitch clip game? Will this fit in a Twitch Will clip? Will this fit in a Twitch clip? Place your bets now. Press one oh, if you will. He's press two if you will. with it now. All right, I like it. If that's how he's got to feel himself to bring himself back into the set, I'm definitely here for it. Always appreciate a good showman. And, and 
the biggest thing that uh, Jackal stresses as a player is that he wants to maintain his composure. He, he thinks composure is so key to maintaining it. So it, we're going to see if he's going to be able to maintain it in a very dire situation like this. Every little bit, bit like, Artfang doesn't need this stock, literally. He, he could continue to keep up his aggression on uh, Jackal. As long as he's still living and is able to keep putting out those hits, it gets better and better for him, no matter how much damage he's taking passively. Well, now he's capped out on Rage, so it's not really going to help him too much at this point. And oh, my God. He's, he's sent to the Stratosphere as he's reduced to his second stop. <laughs> Home run contest. Okay. Wow, calling him out, the too. The forward hit of the back? Okay. We'll this could end his soul. Not jumping there. Very, very smart. He knew Arfang was sharking with that uh, that nair. It's gotta be so scary to land against Arfang. Well, considering how consistent he is. Oh my god! Oh yeah, just a little too patient. That could it's be a not a fair no. amount of rage. No forwards hold at the ledge though to save these this two. Is, oh wow, the perfect reaction with that roll. Arfang's reactions have gone like this. No. They have been. Like, Jude really threw him for a loop in the beginning of the set, but he slowly started adapting, and this game five at least cemented the idea that Arfang understood what he needed to do to beat Jackal. But he's not given the win just yet. Oh wow, great tech by Arfang. And back, back row. row. Okay. Another three point, all right. Here we go. This is Wolf, the stock Max of champions. Pichu, the lightest character oh in the God. game, still makes his win. With the pop off, securing his spot in top eight here at Tri State Showdown, I think. Was that losers or winners? That was winner's side. Where did Arfang go? There he My is. man disappeared. He popped off, had to take the jacket off. Had to take the, the flannel off, bro. Take, let the crew know. Flannel Friday, let, see that tag. See that tag on the back. Arfang! Underscore CS, drop him in the hot follow because he just got a really solid. That was a clean. That was, that was clean. clean. That it was the gap was closing, but the my man gave himself so much room to work with throughout the beginning. That first stock, that first minute of the game was robbery. Yeah, he sh he shook him up, and he Jude the, Jude was slowly he gaining it his composure. All the way back though, but still, Arfing knew he had the set. That was a good set. It. That That's was the first game five I think we've had. That's the first of, I hope, many from this point on. Jesus Christ. Because it's only going to get better for us.